Welcome back. Now we are going to learn how to draw a triangle when we're given two lengths and one angle. Alright, so before that, please make sure you have all the equipment that you need. Get your compass ready by placing the pencil through and screwing the knot. Alright, so now we have our compass, protractor, as well as ruler. These are the items that you'll always need whenever you're drawing triangles. Alright, so we're ready to start. Let's look at the first information we are given. AB equals to 5CM. So the first thing you do in drawing triangles is always start by using your ruler to draw a straight line. So look at the first length given, 5CM. Alright, so I'm just going to use the ruler, draw a 5CM line from 0 to 5. Okay, so that is how I start. I have my 5CM line. I'm going to labor it. A, B, 5, CM. Alright, so we are done with this. This was drawn using your ruler. Okay, that's always the first step. Now, let's look at the next information given. We need to draw A, C, 8, CM. Alright, so to do this, this is a length that is given. Other than the first length that you use a ruler, all other lengths given must be drawn using your compass. Alright, so it's important to note that this second length must be drawn using the compass. Alright, so I'm going to get my compass ready by opening it to 8cm. So make sure the needle is placed at 0, not at 1. I'm going to extend it all the way to 8cm. Okay, so that's 8cm. Do not shift the distance of the compass anymore. So now I'll decide where I'm going to place my needle at. It's either at A or at C. Okay, right now I do not know where point C is yet. So obviously I'll place it at A. So I'm going to place the needle at point A like this. And I'm going to use this to draw a curve. Alright, I'm going to draw a curve here. Which is important that you do not erase this curve that you have drawn because you'll be given marks for working in drawing curves using your compass. Now, the third info that we are given, angle ABC is 105 degrees. Okay, it's important to note that whenever you're given an angle, you have to use your protractor to draw the angle out. Okay, and in this case, when you see angle ABC, it refers to the angle at the middle letter which is B alright so it means that at point B the angle is supposed to be 105 degrees so I'm going to place my protractor at point B alright like this my protractor the middle of my protractor is now at point B okay and be careful about this because in your protractor you always have two sets of numbers you need to make sure that you use the correct set of numbers Okay, you always use the set of numbers whereby the starting line points to 0. So in this case, to draw my 105 degrees, I'm going to follow my outer set of numbers because it's the outer set of numbers that points to 0 at this starting line AB. Right, so 105 degrees, this is 100, 110, so in the middle is where 105 is. Okay, 105 is over here. Alright, and I'm going to use my ruler. To join that point to B. Alright, so here I will have my angle B 105 degrees. Alright, so now I have to locate where point C is so that I can complete my triangle. Alright, and to locate a point in your shape, it is always where the two lines meet. So where this 105 degrees line meets this curve at this point here, that is where point C will be at. Okay, so you have to locate point C accurately and the last step is to complete your triangle by joining point C to point A with your ruler. Alright, and that would complete your triangle but there's one last thing that you have to do. Okay, I need to label all the information given so I have AB 5CM done, AC 8CM, so I'm going to place 8CM here, okay, as well as my angle B, which is 105 degrees, which I've already labelled. 
Okay, so with that, I have completed drawing the triangle, given two lengths and one angle. Be sure that you do not erase this curve or any other curves that you have drawn using your compass. Thank you.